Hey guys, it's Ivana Cadaver, and I am here at Fangoria, and I'm celebrating the DVD release of Universal Studios Home Entertainment, Seat of Chucky. I am Chucky, the killer dog, and I dig it! A little bit later on, we're going to be interviewing Jennifer Tilly, the voice of Tiffany, as well as Don Mancini, the director of the Seat of Chucky, so you won't want to miss it. This is David the Demon DeFalco, and I want my macabre theater. Now! Okay, guys, now right now we're gonna go ahead in the green room here at Fangoria and talk to Jennifer Tilly, the voice of Tiffany, of course, as well as Don Mancini, the director. Now, what are we doing? We're gonna talk about the Seed of Chucky Universal Studios Home Entertainment DVD release. Just think, Jennifer Tilly is playing me in a movie. I'm here with the gorgeous Jennifer Tilly. So you're playing yourself, you're Ooh. also the voice of Tiffany. I've never actually played characters that are close to myself. This movie, I'm all the way through it. The other one, I was in the beginning and then I turned into a doll. This one, I'm all the way through it as a doll and also as myself, Jennifer Tilly. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> it's really up to you. And so when Don said, I want you to play yourself in this movie, I said, oh yeah, how can I be the bitchy diva from hell? You know, I should have played Aaron Brockovich. I could have done it without the Wonder Bra. <laughs> Julia stole that part right out from under me. You know how she did it? She slept with the director, that's what I think. Jennifer, you know that's not true. It's like fun to exaggerate your worst traits, and some of my traits are obsessing about my appearance and being self-involved and worrying about my career. I mean, look at me, I'm an Oscar nominee for Christ's sake, and now I'm f***ing a puppet. It's all there. <laughs> it is a horror movie after all. Okay. Don, tell me about the Chucky franchise and, and like what inspired you to do that. Um. I wrote the first one when I was at college in UCLA, and the original inspiration was that I wanted to write something about how advertising and marketing affects children. So once Cabbage Patch dolls became popular, I sort of put these ideas together. Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm your friend to the end. This was at the time of Gremlins. Animatronics had gotten to a point where I, I realized you could really do the, the old living dolls, which had been a staple of Twilight Zone episodes and whatnot but I realized it had never been done in such a way where you could treat the doll as a full-fledged character. I'm not getting pregnant again, I'll tell you that much. My mother always told me, once is a blessing, twice is a curse. Well, that would explain your sister. There's a lot of extras on the DVD because Don loves extras, and so he was determined that this would be like, like the extra surprise box. So we did tons of stuff. We did a documentary with the puppeteers about how we built the puppets, and we do a commentary, which we love to do. <laughs> The only things that weren't quite accurate is that I am not a slut. I just want to say that for the record. I know I come off all slutty, but that's that's for my image. It's just, you think anyone would cast me in these sex pot roles and then you hadn't been laid in a year? That was an amusing little thing that <laughs> Don put into the movie that he didn't think I would mind. <laughs> it's a DVD released by Universal Studios Home Entertainment, and you're going to want to go out and buy it. I recommend it. Ivana tells you to go out and buy it. And you know what? When I tell you to do something, you better do it. You know what I really want? Not a satisfying relationship, not diamonds, not a well-adjusted son. I want my macabre theater!